when you use um, a combination of networking and social listening, you can really make huge strides in creating content and connecting with other business owners when you're on the internet. And I'd like to walk you through the method I use, which I think will be really beneficial for you too. I want you to choose three Facebook groups, which you know has value, they have value. And you quantify that by it's a relatively large group to begin with. It's an active group where lots of people post. It's not just the owner of the group posting. And thirdly, it's not people just um, posting promos all the time. So my example group I'm going to show you is one of my favourites. It used to be Think Creative Collective, it's now called The Boss Project. It has over 22,000 members. The team that run it are fantastic. And it's just a great group. If you're not in it, do go and join it because it's brilliant. So this would be one of my three. Now, you're going to use three different search terms, so three different groups and in each group, three different search terms. And these search terms are things that you would like to be an expert, to be known as an expert in. It could be for me, it might be social media, generally Instagram and graphics. And you just choose three. Otherwise, it gets a little overwhelming. You might decide if it works really well, you expand it to five groups and five search terms. But to begin with, three search terms, three groups. If you're doing it on a phone or a mobile device, you would just use the top search bar within the group to search. But as we're on my laptop, the search term is in here. So let's just say that one of my search terms is going to be Instagram. This is going to bring up every single post which uses the word Instagram in it. Now, this first half of it is the networking part. Go through and reply to all of them. Now, bear in mind, some of them, the dates are going to be older. You may need to rule some of them out. You may need to look and say, no, that's that's too far back. It's not relevant for me to, to post. But some of them, like a February one, would be fine to do. When I'm recording this, we've just heard April. Um, and you've got to answer each question with something valuable. Now, if other people have already answered it, the value would be saying, yes, I agree with such and such. What they've said, I've found to be true, too. You can support other people. If it's something that has happened and has been answered, you can always tag the original post and say, hey, um, I've just found this. How did you get on? Did you manage to solve the problem? So you're getting to know people. You're providing value within your area of expertise and you just repeat that. So over three groups with three search terms. You might decide you're going to do half an hour of networking a day and you'd pop it in your diary and you cut yourself off after the half an hour and you're done. If that's too much, work out what you can commit to um, and stick to it. Turn up, be a valuable member. It's not about selling what you do. You're always hopeful that someone will say, can I have more information? Can I pop to your website? But you're never offering that. You're just offering free value. You're demonstrating to people that you are the expert and you know what you're talking about. So that's the networking side. It's a little bit more structured. You don't tend to lose time just meandering on Facebook because you have a purpose, a mission, three search terms, three groups. The second element, which is linked to this, is social listening. And this is just um, if you're using it within this networking framework, you will start to find the same questions are repeated over and over. Now, yes, the information is out there, but people, they search and they get frustrated. Sometimes they need to be told and they like to ask. They need the, the dialogue. They don't just want to rely on Google to find the answers. But the questions will be the same. So for Instagram, it's quite often, how do I get more engagement? How do I find relevant hashtags? Those are two really key things 
that when you start listening socially, those pain points will come out over and over again. Now, what you can do with these pain points is create content which answers them so that if people find you, you're already preempting what their pain point is and giving them the solution, presenting an answer to them. And it's also going to show you what's valuable in terms of what you spend your time on. If you've been thinking about designing a course, which is all about um, how to store hashtags and how people should organize them. But the stumbling block for everyone is that they don't actually know how to find them. There's no point starting your course with what to, how to store them and organize them when you actually should be showing people how to find them. Does that make sense? So your social listening comes from this structured method. Now, if you want to set aside more time for social listening, you could then um, just on Facebook, not within the groups, just generally on Facebook, you search for those search terms. So in, you'd go to your home, which gives up your blank box at the top. You could then search Instagram. And that will start bringing them up. And then you could choose a lot here. You could choose posts. Now, this will bring up them in groups from and it says over this side posts from anyone. And you could you could narrow it down. But if you're social listening, it can be anyone posted in any groups. Um, and that will then start to really show you the other pain points and just what else is happening. Once you feel you've got a grasp of those three areas of expertise in terms of networking and social listening, by all means, search broader um, just within sort of. So for me, it would be social media manager. That would be like my umbrella term at the top or social media strategist. And then my more niche elements would be things like Instagram, um, creating content on Canva, <clears throat> and creating content. So those would be mine. And then you would just search those on all of Facebook and just listen. You don't even need to respond to them, but just begin to listen about what people are struggling with and what's going on. And that will really help to inform how you create your own content and how you start dealing with your own social media. I hope that helps. If it's not clear, do let me know. Um, any questions, just ask.